Invader Zim is the most disturbing, most disgusting kid show in the history of existing ever, ever forever to exist, ever! But hey, I still like it. Invader Zim was released in 2001 and created by Jonan Vasquez, someone who was previously known for writing comics. And let's just say they weren't exactly made for kids. But Nickelodeon just said, screw it, we need a new kid show anyways. And then he was approached to make a new kid show on Nickelodeon. So a pilot episode was created, but not released in 1999. It wouldn't be aired until 2011 on Nicktoons, which, you know, was 12 years after the pilot was already made. And the main thing about the pilot is that Zim is voiced by Billy West, who is most known for playing Fry on Futurama, another sci-fi animated comedy show made around the same time. And watching it now, I don't really think his voice fits in with the character. I mean- <laughs> The human has lost the element of surprise thanks to the ingenious listening device- I mean, he has the silly in his voice, but that's about it. Another big part about Zim's personality is his craziness and mightiness, and I just don't think Billy West has that part of his voice down. And going back to the pilot, it just doesn't feel like Invader Zim. The writing and animation feels a little more childish, which is, you know, more appealing to the age demographic, but that's not what Zim's about. But I feel like if Zim went for more of this direction in writing and animation, it wouldn't be as remembered or iconic. For example, you can hear a lot of fart sound effects, which really doesn't appear in the main show. Well, that's about enough of the pilot. Let's get into the real first episode, The Nightmare Begins. And already, this is much more like it. It's a much better introduction to the characters and why Zim is there in the first place. The original pilot just explains it with some still frames while the narrator talks. This explains it with actual introductions. It starts with a race of aliens, the Erkins, as they rally up for Impending Doom 2, a massive plan to take over a bunch of planets. And this introduces the Almighty Tallus. They're kind of like the leader, and they're also behind the entire operation. But then it cuts to Zim, a small, overconfident Urken. He then lands to make his way over to the Almighty Tallus so that he can be recruited. However, Zim is a big reason as to why Operation Impending Doom 1 failed. So the Almighty Tallus try to find a way to get rid of him. All of the recruits receive a Sir unit, a small robot that helps the Irkins. However, when Zim arrives, the Almighty Tallus give him a Sir unit filled with trash instead of robot stuff. And this introduces Gur, a dome robot that loves food. So the Almighty Tallus, in an attempt to get rid of him, sends Zim to a random coordinate that actually ends up being planet Earth. So Zim and Gur set off to Earth to conquer it. When Zim lands, he comes up with costumes for him and Gur, and then builds a house. In order to fit in, he joins the local school. This is where Mrs. Bitters and Dib are introduced. Mrs. Bitters is... a thing? And Dib is a child obsessed with aliens and the supernatural. And his dad is a scientist, voiced by Roger Bumpus, who most people know as Squidward. And he has a sister, Gaz, who is always seemingly angry. And that's how they introduce all of the characters. However, one thing that this show is known for is that it's a little dark, at least for the age demographic. I mean, this show terrified me as a kid. I remember being at my grandma's house when I was eight watching this show for the first time. Every episode made me really uneasy. I would be afraid to sleep because of the show. I mean, scenes like this. And even this. Yeah, he freaking dies. But no other episode comes close to Dark Harvest. This was the second episode written for the show. And the fact that they let this slide... But then gave them shit for having Dib wear a trench coat because it reminded them of the shooter is just pure ass. I mean, it's a funny episode, but I mean, oh my freaking god! This is terrifying! 
The plot is as follows. Zim needs to go to the nurse, but then he realizes that the nurse will realize that Zim doesn't have any human organs. So what does Zim do? Fucking steal small children's organs? Cause I mean, what else would you do? So by the end of the episode, he's just a massive blob throwing up organs, and then he just kinda spiders around. The funny thing is, is the age demographic is 2 to 11 year olds. I mean, what kind of 6 year old is going to be watching Peppa Pig, and then turns this on, and now wanna fucking piss their pants? I mean, come on! On a different note, even though it's dark, it's beautifully animated and written. They even incorporate CG into the show, and for 2001, it looks pretty good. However, it was sadly cancelled, not too far into the development of the second season. The reason being it didn't do too well with the age demographic. Instead, it did better with kids from 12 to 18. Go figure. And to be honest, it's a shame. I think that at least a proper ending would be good. But instead, they end it with a fucking Christmas special. That's right, a fucking Christmas special. I mean, I'm glad it didn't last 30 years like The Simpsons. But I mean, come on, Invader Zim didn't even last a whole year. There were episodes that were completely finished that wouldn't be aired until 2006. And that's a shame. But, last year, we got something special. An announcement for a new Invader Zim movie. And by the looks of it, it seems pretty good. It's set to air sometime this summer on Netflix. And it's May at the time of writing this, which means it's right around the corner. That's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Well, I guess I should watch for Invader Zim for the video that I'm doing. Wait, did I see that right? No way. No fucking way. This was actually... In the show. How? How?